Two brothers stuck in prison for nearly 25 years, wrongfully convicted of murdering a Pontiac woman, and tonight they're back home. Melvin and George de Jesus were convicted mostly on the word of a man who got a deal to testify against them. And lately, others have been fighting for them. The AG's office, U of M's Innocence Clinic, and Western Michigan's Cooley Law Innocence Project worked together to find DNA evidence and witness statements to clear Melvin and George. It all led to an emotional reunion today in Lansing. Megan Woods was there. Uh, Megan, to say this has been a long time coming is a dramatic understatement. Yes, a very long time coming. I mean, when you think about it, these brothers have missed out on birthdays, holidays. Melvin missed out on seeing his daughter grow up, all for a crime that they didn't commit. And for the last 25 years, they've been saying we're innocent. But now, after more DNA testing, witnesses coming forward, more women coming forward, the justice system is now saying, yes, they are innocent. <laughs> Tears of joy, warm embraces, and their innocence has been a long time coming for Melvin and George de Jesus. In all the years that we tried and tried, I just don't know what to say now, you know. It's just, I'm glad I'm here. The two were wrongfully convicted of murder and felony firearms in 1997. You know, nobody deserves this. It's a total miscarriage of justice. The Attorney General Dana Nessel's Conviction Integrity Unit spent months looking over the case and working with the victim's family. We empathize and sympathize with the hurt that they lost, right? Because you, you pull a scab off an old wound, right? To get to all of this stuff, right? And so for 25 years, this family of the victim had to live with the thought that these two men did this, right? The CI unit discovered new evidence that pointed to Brandon Gohagen. He ended up throwing George and Melvin under the bus and said that they actually participated with him. He, Brandon Gohagen, did this crime alone. His DNA was found at the scene. George and Melvin's were not. In 2017, Brandon Gohagen was convicted of raping and killing a different woman, similar to the case the De Jesus brothers were convicted of, proving what this family already knew. Walking out just with the feeling of that vindication, it was great. I probably This is the best day of my life. I got my boys here on a... I have to thank God for it. While George and Melvin can't get their more than 25 years back. But the one thing we might be able to do is to learn from these exonerations and see what went wrong so that as prosecutors in the future, we don't make those mistakes again. And something both George and Melvin stressed was family. So when it comes to moving forward, they really want to catch up with the family that they've missed all this time, but also the family that they're just meeting today. Devin? Well, Megan, so not getting this right the first time would now appear that it led to another woman losing her life. So what are the implications here for Brandon Gohagen? So what they're saying now is he's serving a life sentence in prison for that uh, 2017 crime. And so he's not going anywhere for a very long time. Yeah. All right, Megan, what a story.